Hi everybody, this is a video of two of the 70 watt high pressure sodium tubular light bulbs. As you can see, I thought I'd do a video of two of these clear tubular light bulbs at 70 watts each. Now this one has got uh, the external igniter that's in the fitting itself. Now this one has got the internal igniter that's in the bulb. Yeah, and that's the one I did on YouTube last night and I thought I'd do a video of it with the, the one without the starter in it. So, And they've both got the same wattage, the same principle as each other, so... And the the uh, turned on, well, they're plugged in at the socket, ready to fire up in one second or two, guys. So, and they're both uh, both at 70 watts each, and they're named by Venture. And I thought I'd do a video of them with their cartons there. So, anyway, guys, so as you can see now, the the body fitted in now, and, the, and all I'm going to do is turn the big lights out now. So, right, that's it now, guys. The big lights have gone out now. So, onto the 70 watt high pressure sodium tubular light bulbs, everybody. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Wow! And as you can see, and this one it did make a bit of a thudding noise. So now this one, and they both shine a very nice lilac colour. And, and let's see which one turns orange first. And let's see which one does it first. Is it? Oh yeah, that that external one's turning orange, but the the internal one's still turn still in lilac. Yeah. So and this one, oh, and that that one there on my on my left is turned fully orange. Yeah, and it does turn turns orange quite easily. And now and now the internal one is turned to turn orange now. So it turn, it takes a bit more slower. It's well not as quickly as the external one. But now uh, and I thought to do a video of two of those tubular ones in clear because I did two of the white frosted ones. But now it's the clear tubular ones. So so as you can see now, and they're both fully turned orange now. I know this one has it's start. It's turned fully orange, and let's look right into it, and you can see with the star turn here. So it, I know it's kind of tilted to one side a little bit, but it'll do for now. But it'll um, it still works though. But I know that that one, that external one, is a little bit more brighter than the other one, and the other one's still a little teeny weeny 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 bit dim. But but not to worry. But you did you did hear that thudding noise though. But I don't know why. But it's because it's a magnetic ballast. But not to worry, guys, because you can see now, as I see it from my eyes, it's shining a bit more. Shine more nice orange colour. It feels like I'm in a bus station and what have you. Yeah. So um so as you can see. And now this one's kinda of like greyish silver at the bottom, but that's with the start with the igniter inside it. So and this one this one you can see it shines all around top and bottom and they're both named Venture. I look up all around my ceiling and they're both giving out seventy watts uh, of light each, which that makes hundred and forty watts of light from the two sodium bulbs. So so, and let's take a look at these two grid switches, yeah? Oh, there they are, the two MK switches, and they both, and they both got a red neon indicator each. So I put them on side against one another. So, so anyway, so I know that that one in the ex external one's turned a bit more orangey. That's reached its full brightness now. It's just the internal one to wait now till it till it reaches its full brightness. Yeah. So um, I know where uh, two weeks ago I did uh, the uh, two internal ignited. What? Well, the two frosted ones, one external and one internal, so, and, um, so as you can see, and they've got their boxes, and their boxes are all here, and they're both, both got the same, same principle, the same colour, the same carton, they don't say whether they're on each one, or whether they say the igniter is, uh, external or internal, you just don't see it on both of these, but they've got a different type of barcode, and let's take a look at that, Let's turn this one the other way around. There we go. Both got 70 watts each. This one here it says NLHPST 70 watt HPST 70 watt slash E27 slash ho 00168-NLC. And that one at the bottom says HPST 70 watt slash IG slash E27 slash ho. High pressure sodium lamps dash high output 70 watts uh, venture part number 00407 base E27. That's both of them. Both got uh, an Edison 27 screw cap each. So, so anyway, guys, so as you can see now, and they're both, uh, le it looks like they both reached their full brightness and everything. I know that one now, that was it's a bit brighter and that was a little bit dimmer. Maybe it's the colour of the glass on it that makes it look like that. But anyway, let's take a good glimpse into this one. Oh, yes, yes. And they both, um, and, and this one, yeah, more extra equipment like power station. And, um, 
and I look up all around me room and everything, it shines more like a nicer, more, well, it's more orangey white now, so, yeah, because it, when it first, it's more in pure and simple orange, but once I reach the brightness, they call like orangey white, and it's, uh, and oh, that one's nice and bright, it makes me feel like I'm in the shelters at the bus station and whatnot, so... I know that thing is when it sticks out. That's supposed to be part of the capacitor that I made from that I sold from scratch, and that's all it is. So, and as you can hear, you can definitely hear them making a bit of a humming noise because of the the ballast and igniter in each one of them. So, and they, that one's got the uh, the igniter separate from the bulb, and this one's got the igniter in the bulb. So that one's external and that one's internal. So. But, and that's the difference between both of them. I have a different type of startup, but they both shine the same glow and the same wattage. So they both got two hundred, well, two thousand Kelvin each. So, so let's look at it over above this way, guys, so you can see. And um, I know you might not be able to tell on camera, but I noticed that one. They shine a little tiny bit different, not too different, but because uh, that one has a magnetic ballast and that one's got like normal ballast I don't know what type of ballast it's called but I don't know it's that one's external and that one's internal so so and that's all it is guys so anyway guys so as you can see now two of the the tubular the tubular high pressure sodium light bulbs at 70 watts have reached the full brightness at 70 watts bright and hot and everything guys so as you can see now and they both shine a nice orangey color at 70 70 watts bright and hot and everything and they've reached their full brightness yes so and um and they're both fully warmed up and everything so all i'm going to do now is turn off the the big la the, the sodium lamps now so wow and, and as you can see now they've both uh, gone out now and they both shine a very nice orangey color oh i've got a bit of red glare in my eyes now so not to worry guys but they will take a little while to fully fade away so and that's all it is um and it, well, they do take a little while to fade away, but we'll just wait until they fully go out and it fully blacks out. And that's when I put this big light back on, uh, guys. So I've got my hand on that switch now. So um, I think that one with the starter in it is fully faded away. The one in, in the external one's still showing out a little bit, but it does take a little while to fully fade away, guys. And that's all it is. And, and as you look at it now, it looks like it's fully saying goodbye. And that's all it's, uh, that's all it's doing, yeah. So... So, and that's all it is. And as you can see now, it's fully blacked out and everything, guys. So, anyway, guys, the big lights come back on now. So, right, that's it now, guys. The big lights are back on now, everybody. So, anyway, guys, uh, this is a video of two of the 70-watt high-pressure sodium tubular light bulbs and everything, everybody. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. So, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, everybody.